Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. There is a lot to talk about with Team of the Group Stage dropping yesterday inside of this game. EA Sports did not want to drop the market like we kind of thought that they would. We'll talk about that with the pack weight on these Team of the Group Stage cards being very low. And also, today on Saturday, we're expecting the first showdown SBC cards of FIFA 22. We'll talk about the leaks and the official card design added to the code that could be coming out today. So we'll talk about that. And of course, just the crazy Team of the Group Stage promo. When I say crazy, I mean crazy because it was like not how we thought it was going to go, right? Because we were expecting EA to drop these cards on the market with a very high pack weight and kind of reset the market that was very high, right? Post Black Friday, the market is still really high because EA made the pack weight very low on these cards. Pack weight was awful yesterday for the whole game and the market showed it, right? So we'll talk about what moved and maybe what to expect later on today and through this weekend with these Champions League team of the group stage cards, most of them being Champions League, only one, uh, I guess technically if you count the objective card from Osaman, there's two Europa League cards and one Conference League card. So we're going to have more of these released as a mini release, it seems. Uh, so we'll talk about that as well. First things first, uh, let's let's look at the front here on the news page, right? Because we get a lot of information here. It just says 14 Team of the Group Stage players are now available in Foot 22 for 6 days, 14 hours. So this is just a one-week promo as it looks. If it were to be a two-week promo... We think it would say Team 1 of Team of the Group Stage. So it looks like that this is going to be it, right? All of the leaked cards that we saw uh, and the leaks that we looked at prior to yesterday was basically true. The only cards that we have not received yet from those leaks uh, or the ones that I can remember are the Trent... Alexander Arnold and Bruno Fernandez. Those are a couple names that we have not seen yet. I think there's one more card, maybe two more cards that they would potentially release in a mini release uh, coming up either today on Saturday or tomorrow on Sunday. So keep a watch out for a couple more um, team of the group stage cards added to the game today. But let's talk about a few of these cards, man, because uh, these prizes, in my opinion, were crazy high earlier on today. They've kind of dropped off a little bit as we've headed into the later evening hours. Uh, Tiago Jalo right now, you can see his 500,000 coins. He was like 650k earlier. The pack weight today or yesterday was really low, right? And that's what really set the tone for the market and a lot of the movements that we saw. We were expecting the pack weight on the team of the group stage cards in here for the 125k packs. We were literally expecting this. Did they just release another lightning round? Yo, EA, it is like 2 a.m. UK. Why 3 a.m. UK and you're releasing these light? I don't know, man. All right, we also learned something about uh, new about lightning rounds in FIFA 22. They're going to continue releasing lightning rounds around the clock, I guess is what it seems. Uh, I was going to talk about this in a little bit, but we're here. Let's talk about it now. 100k packs on a random lightning round inside the store. That's ridiculous, man. In previous years, we would only have the 50, 100, and 125k pack lightning rounds. Yesterday, we had four straight hours. We had the 50, 100, 125. Then we had an 85 plus star lightning round. And now I guess they're just randomly dropping uh, some lightning rounds late night for NA, I guess. Uh, with these other packs still in the store. The store is chock full of promo packs right now. But again, the original point is still valid that the pack weight is very low. 3.5% for a UCL team of the group stage player from a 125k pack. Just to show you guys, just to show you guys the difference in year over year. Take a look at this, right? This is a tweet with some information from this year, right? This is this year, right? 3.5% for a UCL team of the group stage player. Last year, this screenshot was taken for a UEFA Champions League player, 9.2%. And the pack weight in general is so much higher this year. Why in the world do they drop the pack weight down so much for this promo. I mean, the only answer is EA did not want to crash the market. They wanted these players to be high in price and they wanted the market to kind of stay inflated as it is at the moment. And since EA, of course, wanted to do that, a lot of these cards, in my opinion, um, they're, they're going to drop in price throughout this next week. Um, but also that impacted or impacted the, a lot of the market by 
not dropping prices across the rest of the game, right? We talked about potentially guys like Gold Ronaldo, Gold Messi, uh, Gold Mbappe, and, and stuff like that going down. Now, some of these gold cards that are just, of course, packed a lot more, since we have had more lightning rounds, yes, they have dropped. Like Mendy's 42K, Kempembe uh, is 14,000 coins again, so he is down a little bit. Yorente is down some. Hakimi is down like six, 7,000 coins. So you have a, a few drops. Um, but on most of the market, specifically the out of packs cards, I mean, stuff just went higher or was kind of low and then bounced back. Jota was 410,000 coins. We were looking at him on stream yesterday. He rose from like 410 all the way to 460 in a short buyback because people realized, oh, the content yesterday was not that insane as well. So people just, you know, the cards that were panic sold. People just went back and bought those cards, maybe went to try out a few of these team of the group stage cards uh, on the game yesterday. Now, these cards have had a lot of fluctuations as well, right? Lewandowski came out into packs at 300,000 coins. He went up to almost ex extinct at 400K. So it was 300, almost up to 400. Now he's back down to the low 300K range. These guys are going to continue to fluctuate, right? Salah has been between 900 and a million coins like three times now. Um, Marquinhos was like 700k. He went down to 530. Now he's 560. I bought three Cancelos at 200k, sold them at 220. I mean, Vinny was 690. He's now 725. Uh, Tiago Jalo was 450. Now he's 500. So these cards are decently rare and people are interested in trying them out. So they're fluctuating around a lot on the market. Uh, but, you know, especially as we head into today with more lightning rounds, I guess dropping at any time on this game. Um, I would be, I'd be very careful with some of these cards, right? I did sell, I bought a level at 370 yesterday and sold him for just a tax loss, but we made so many other coins yesterday that it did not matter. The first 15 minutes of the game yesterday were banging for flips. I bought four and Kunku's. One of them I had to end up selling at a loss because I got stuck with it, but I bought four and Kunku's all at 200 K sold the three of them at 240. Uh, 246 and 235. I bought one Cancelo at 230 and sold that one at 267. Uh, I bought a couple icons. I bought this at 1.099. Um, let's see what else. I got a Di Maria at 225 or something like that. A Keen at 230. I have a couple other cards still here, and I'm trying to flip a few Lewandowski's from like 302, hopefully to like 320 or 330 into this morning on Saturday. But you might see a few rises on some of these cards, especially the ones that are very meta. Uh, but you've already seen a few of them start to rise back up. So you know, Cristiano Ronaldo was actually one that if I had enough coins, I was a, I was a bit low on coins when I was looking at him. But he just literally went from 2.4 mil to 2.6, and there's one card in 27. So some of these cards are getting rare overnight. They might rise up a little bit. Again, uh, unless these lightning rounds keep coming out and supplying these cards just at really random times, uh, you might see a few of these cards re rebound up into the day today on Saturday as people try them out as they're not super duper supplied. Um, but speaking about Saturday content, that is one more thing that I want to get into today as well is we have some very interesting SBCs potentially coming either today or tomorrow in this game. Now we're going to start with the card design. This is the card design right here that was added to the code tonight. And that card design looks unbelievable. That is the showdown card design. If you guys do remember, showdown cards are basically SBCs that are dropped um, ahead of a specific game. And if the teams draw, that card gets a plus one upgrade. And if one of the teams wins, then the winning team's card gets a plus two upgrade. So the two players that are supposed to be represented with a showdown SBC either today or tomorrow on Sunday are Gerard Pique and Sule, right? There's Those are the two leaks as of right now for who might be getting this first showdown SBC of FIFA 22. And man, that car design looks insane, man. That is definitely better than last year's. The showdown car design, I thought always looked pretty good, but this one looks like, man, that looks really, really good. So I'm excited to see those SBCs today. Now let's talk SBC stuff for, for a minute, right? Yesterday on the game, we were dropped an SBC holler, which, you know, at 59,000 coins, fodder is low, right? And this has a decent amount of thumbs up. I think this is like a cool card collecting kind of a Panini SBC, to be completely honest. Holler, uh, three star skills, that's the big downfall. He's definitely not the most meta type of card, but six foot three, 88 sprint speed, 90 finishing, 90 positioning, 
great jumping and heading. If this is your type of player, um, and especially as we have the Air Divisi Squad Foundations cards that are available, this guy does get some pretty good links. That actually reminds me, one of the cards that we're going to get in the mini release, either today or tomorrow as well, will be Antony. So that'll be another Ajax card that would link to Holler. Of course, we have Nerez and we have all the uh, Air Divisi Squad Foundations in the Milestones tab and Objectives. So this is a pretty cheap SBC, but it doesn't really get everybody hyped, right? We're coming off of a week of Black Friday where we had the Benzema Flashback SBC, which is probably the most popular card in the game right now. So this definitely does not seem that insane in the grand scheme of things but fodder from all of the lightning rounds and the saved up packs that were opened yesterday uh fodder has dropped down right 83s are down to 900 coins a pop 86s are like 10k on bid 88s you can get in the low 20s 87s you can get on the 15k range on bid fodder is low i mean even if you take a look at the index right let's take a look at the index 84 you take a look at this just the amount of supply that we have had. Now it's kind of up a little bit because people are starting to invest in some of this lower to mid tier fodder to prepare for the potential SBC uh, that we might be seeing today. So that is something that I would I would continue to see a trend in that into today on Saturday. You'd probably see some of this fodder rise up a little bit more as more people are preparing for that SBC. And since again, the names leaked, Sule and PK, direct links to those cards have already started to rise in price like this Ter Stegen's, like 90,000 coins at the moment. You can see when the leaks were uh, made available yesterday, it went from 78K all the way to 90, kind of dropped back down to the low 80s and is now back up at 88K. So that's a leak uh, for the, to the link to PK, of course. And then Alfonso Davies with the, le the leak uh, of Sule being a Bayern link up. This card went from 200,000 coins all the way to 230. It's kind of where he peaked. Right now he's back down to 218. So again, today for these two SBCs, if and when they come out today or tomorrow, it all depends on the price. Because if EA priced this SBC good, which they could right now, um, then th these SBCs would be really cheap. Because the, the way fodder is right now, a lot of SBCs are very, very cheap on this game. And if EA don't overprice these, they could be pretty good value. So that's just one thing that I'm going to point out is the center back, right? They're both center backs and they've just... What's going to make these SBCs big today is if they get big upgrades. A lot of people, of course, remember that Scream PK from FIFA 20, right? That was a card that so many people loved. It came out during the Ultimate Scream promo. Uh, now, of course, PK this year is 84 rated. It's going to have to have like plus 20 pace on this card today for it to be something that we want to use. So EA's got to give it the juice today. Hopefully, we see that happen. But we should have a showdown SBC coming soon either today or tomorrow on this game. Now, speaking of more things to come today, we talked about maybe a little bit of a market rise on some of these cards. That's why I picked up a couple of Lewandowski's right around 300K, hopefully trying to get about 320 for him since he got that 80 pace and the shooting boost. Uh, and, you know, his name has been in the headlines recently after not winning the Ballon d'Or getting second to Messi. So, I mean, that might draw a few more people to use this card right now in the game. I'm kind of expecting a few of these cards to rise up a little bit. I'm kind of looking at this Salah as well. If I can if I can pick one up for 900 flat, I mean, I really think that I can get 900 highs, maybe like a 970 or a 980 for a nice 20, 30K flip overnight on a card like that. Uh, other than that, a lot of the team of the group stages kind of have seemed to start it to go up. Now, there's a couple of them that are extinct right now, and I want to talk about this as well. Uh, Federico Chiesa, right? This is a really, really nice looking card. Although with the rest of the cards dropping yesterday, this one's still maintaining uh, an extinct price of 300,000 coins. And I actually hear that he pops up a lot um, on this game. Yeah, like I literally just searched, what, five, six times and he popped up. Now he's getting into snipe, but there's another one, right? I don't think this card is going to stay extinct for very long, uh, especially if these pa if pack on these cards is very low. Since EA is not updating this price range like right away, I'm really, really not liking this. I'm really not. So if you've got one of these, uh, you know, you're using it in your team, I would just be careful because I don't think this card in the grand scheme of things with how cheap everything is this year on foot is going to maintain its price of 300,000 coins. But that's just my opinion. He does have a really nice looking card, a nice right wing in the Serie A, which uh, besides the Politano SBC we had a few weeks ago, I mean, this guy... This guy, is, he's, he's a good-looking card. So that's kind of a rare position in that league. So that is nice. Donnarumma is also extinct, which I think that, I mean, I know the leaks or the links of this card gets, of course, are the best links for a goalkeeper in the game being PSG. 
Uh, but I think this card is overpriced as well. I feel, I feel like he should be like 130,000 coins um, and, and not extinct at 200K. So honestly, I expect just about all of these cards to drop off in the coming week. So if it's something like, hey, I want to buy I want to buy this Tiago Jalo card for my team, right? You, knowing that he was 450K yesterday, who knows what other content that we're going to get this week, right? December is always a big month for SBCs on FIFA. So I still expect that with foot freeze, and you know, or foot miss, whatever promo we're going to get in the coming weeks. I think that this market is still very high at the moment. And I, I think that I wouldn't be really buying stuff and thinking that a long term hold, uh, unless it's SBC fodder, is kind of is, is really a move. I really don't feel like that sort of vibe is a move at the moment. Right now, it's just kind of the market is high, right? A lot of your cards from last week, like the uh, signature signings, they are still up in price. Renato is still about 900,000 coins. Yorente is still in the high 500 range. So a lot of those cards, the only ones that dropped off were the fodder, right? Because some of the SBCs expired and those went away. But again, uh, coming into today on, on Saturday as well, watch out for some of these higher tier cards, some of the more rare ones uh, or some of the, I guess you could say, most popular ones. I would watch out on Marquinhos too. An interesting fact about this Marquinhos card is... This 89 Marquinhos is going to actually continue to have a little bit of demand and continue to have some popularity because this card will not upgrade, right? These cards are not live. And from a, a pro player aspect, um, I think pro players can only have a certain number of cards that are above 90 rated in their team. When this road to the knockout stage Kempembe, which has bounced back beautifully up to 880k, uh, when this card gets an upgrade to 90 rated, some pros might not be able to use him and they might go and use the other 89 Marquinhos. So just keep an eye out for that. That might make that uh, team of the group stage Marquinhos have some interesting movements later on after this next week because the road to the knockouts probably won't get upgraded until um, after next week when these team of the group stage cards are nearing the end of their stay in packs. So I would be very careful uh, and just keep that in mind with that card uh, right there. But then for the rest of the market day, right, it was actually a great day to trade. If you guys remember how the market reacted on the time of the um, Adidas numbers up promo, right? The content wasn't that good. The players and packs weren't even that good. Although today we had pretty good players and packs. Uh, a lot of, there was a bit of selling heading into 6 p.m. UK and then stuff rose like really nicely afterwards, right? Like an example is just this Di Maria. He was 220K, went back to 250. Now I hear that he's actually kind of low again. I just checked his price on Flipping right before I started to record this and I was kind of getting interested in buying one if I was not going to be able to get a Salah because this card is very rare and he's very good to trade with and flip. 215, thank you very much. I will take that. I mean, I would almost assume that there's just a couple pages here of Di Maria to like 230, 240K with a right forward and a hunter. I'm gonna try to sell this at like 237. And that's like an easy 10K profit right there. I don't mind that flip at all. But that's kind of how the market reacted yesterday, right? There was a bit of panic selling heading into 6 p.m. UK. This Vinny Jr. inform was like, everybody was flexing this on the Twitter timeline yesterday if they bought these uh, because Vinny was 300,000 coins and he went all the way back up to about 360 or 370 where he is right now because the brand new 86 rated Vinny is you know 700,000 coins. So you saw a lot of bounce back on the market today, but if you sold some cards for your team, like let's say you sold Cristiano at 620K, he's now out of packs and he's, he's still 620, 630. So, I mean, to be honest, since the market, like it didn't really boom today, stuff that was panic sold just kind of rebounded back. I do still think this market is very high. And if you sold cards, I don't think you have to be regretting it, right? I don't think you're really missing out on too much because again, as of right now, it feels like there's way more room for this market to drop than there is for it to rise even further. Just thinking about the stuff that we're gonna have coming up in the next couple of weeks in terms of promos uh, on this game. So, you know, if you did sell a couple cards, you're like, man, I was expecting some panic yesterday and it didn't happen. I mean, that's just the way of this market too, right? It could have gone the exact way we thought it was too. And then we, you know, we'd be here saying, man, we call it, you know? So there's going to be weeks like that. And there's going to be weeks where it doesn't quite happen uh, like we think that it's going to. So just hang tight because again, we're getting two SBCs potentially today and potentially more cards and packs as well. Wow, Rooney is back down to 1.1 mil. That's interesting. Um, you know, with a, tr with a mini release, potentially with Anthony and with Trent and with Bruno Fernandez, those could be either today or tomorrow. And then, you know, 
early in December is often a time where EA Sports drops some big content on the game, right? So I don't think you have to be super worried if you sold some cards and you got some coins and you're like, man, I thought there was going to be a crash and there wasn't one. Uh, I don't think you have to be super duper worried about that. Uh, right now, but today is going to be an interesting day to trade with as well. Depending on these SBCs, if Sule and um, uh, or PK, both of them, I mean, I think if EA is going to be dropping a uh, showdown SBC for either of these cards, both of them are not very meta. They're legit fodder cards for their rating. Um, I think EA is going to boost up their pace and make them both look pretty nice uh, if they're dropping both in SBCs uh, this weekend. So you know, that's going to hurt some center backs on the game. So I'd, I'd be very careful with center backs uh, on this game just because if there's brand, two brand new SBC cards, that might make some people go out and sell the cards that they have in their clubs and in their teams to try out the brand new items that are going to be dropped on the game uh, today or on this weekend. So I would just kind of keep an eye out for that. I mean, I'm kind of looking at the Sonic card too. I feel like 145k for basic, basically the paciest, besides Diaby, the paciest winger in the Bundesliga with the best links. I mean, Diaby has good links as well to Nkunku and stuff, but if I can get one of these at like 140, I kind of like that because, you know, you have a lot of Bayern Munich hype potentially today, a little 352 link to Sule or something like that. So just keep an eye on the SBCs today because, again, with us talking about a market drop, the more SBCs that EA release, like a PK, like a showdown SBC for Sule or PK, that would take some coins off the market and make some of this market drop as well. So you're going to see more fluctuations on these promo cards. You're going to see more fluctuations on the whole entirety of the market, in my opinion. Uh, but it should be a pretty good day to trade still. There's a lot of coins on this market. A lot of fluctuations are happening. Uh, one tip I will give you guys, chemistry style trading. Yes, chemistry style trading with some of these cards, Benarama. I hope I hope that I'm not really like screwing anybody over right here that's already trading with this. But if you go Benarama, he's like 40, what is he, 47,000 coins. He's actually up a bit because he was 44K uh, a couple hours ago as a really good looking card. Center mid, 48K on Benarama with a Hunter, right? I'm going to add that to my targets and let's just check this live right now. So Benrama is a center attacking mid position change. All right, so there's another one center mid with a Hunter at 52. So it's really not profitable or not profitable enough. But take a look at position change trading with some of these cards, maybe like Cancelo with a Hunter and Kunku, right? And Kunku got a position uh, change card himself for right forward. Um, so, you know, maybe and Kunku with like right mid sells for a little bit more. I don't know. But this was a very interesting one yesterday as they released a position change in Kunku uh, to right mid. Boom, right mid, 176,000 coins. What about with the Hunter? So just, just keep an eye on this stuff this weekend because it should be good trades. Boom, there's a 176 and a 186 right there. So there's really not any money in that. Is there anything higher than that though? There's a 192. If there was like a 170, I would buy it. But just kind of look out for some of those trades. When a market is high like this, that's kind of the stuff that you can be trading with. Uh, but again, definitely not as expected yesterday on this game. Um, but we're going to roll with the punches, right? And we'll see what kind of content that we get today. Osaman as well. This is kind of a, I would say a nice super sub. He's got 98 sprint speed. So, I mean, what else do you want in a super sub on this game for 98 sprint speed? It's very easy too. seven games in managerial masterpiece and you're done though with this card. So not terrible for at least 86 rated fodder or a super sub. Uh, I know he only has three star skills as well, but that is a solid looking item in my opinion on this game. So I know the market is not exactly what we expected, but we're rolling with the punches and we're moving forward. Today should be an exciting day with potentially a mini release or uh, and and or uh, the first showdown cards inside of FIBA 22. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.